Okay, hello everyone and welcome to my show. My name is Kerry Earl and I'll be working with Violet the Green Witch tonight and we'll, we'll be talking about Master Energy, something that's very dear to my heart because it's all about prayer. So if you're having problems in your life, it's a very good thing to pray instead of just worrying about everything. So prayer is absolutely fascinating. So later on we'll be talking about the Master Energies, but for now... <coughs> I'd like to um, talk about how important it is to focus on what you want in your life, how focus is very important for all of us. And I've pulled some cards and the first card I got is meditation. How important is it to meditate? I've been meditating probably for most of my life and it's a very good way to still the mind and 20 minutes of meditation, as I've said many times before, is equivalent to four hours sleep on the theta level so meditation is very important it's something that it's an integral part of our life and th through meditation we also get to learn all about our guides and we can um, make contact with our loved ones in the spirit world because that's very important as well so meditation is a very good focus so if you feel drawn to this card the meditation card it's time for you if you're not meditating it's time for you to start and if you do meditate, it's time, time for you to do more. I mean, to create abundance in your life and peace, I feel two times a day is very important, morning and night. And also it's very important, I feel, to be regular. Like, for example, find a time in the day that you'd like to do it or find a time in the evening. Don't ever meditate uh, before you go to bed because it can be very hard. So meditation's very important so if you'd like to focus on that if that's going to help you um, this is just a suggestion card for you to do meditation is a very powerful tool tool to so we can reach our subconscious mind so there you go the next card we have is soulmate I mean so many clients I speak to they all want to meet their soulmate because no one likes to be lonely and they say there's up to seven soulmates in this lifetime that you can actually meet. And a soulmate can actually, doesn't have to be a love, it can be someone in your family, it can be your mother, your father, your brother, or it can just be a friend. It doesn't have to be a sexual love, a soulmate relationship. And um, for relationships, personal relationships, it's when you're with the right person, it's amazing how much you can progress in the world and actually move forward because it's easy with two people in so many ways, emotionally, physically, spiritually, and of course financially. So there you go. So uh, very important to have your soulmate in your life or someone that you can really connect to to help you on your path because sometimes life can be a very difficult journey. Okay, the next card I'm getting is called The Mystic. Now, the, this is a time to focus, as I said, because we're coming up to, uh, on the 27th of April, we're actually coming up to Pluto retrograde, and that's all about huge changes, so all your secrets are going to come out, and, and everything that's been hidden will come out. And this, is, this is going to carry on for about six months, so it's very important to start to meditate, to be with people that make you feel good, not hanging around people that make you feel bad or put you down and also the mystic card the mystic card is about waking up it's about awakening and you know we all have these innate abilities where many of us are very psychic especially these new children coming through the crystal children they're very awake and they're very knowing and they're very sensitive and so many children are empaths these days and there's a lot of empaths on the planet but the mystic card is about acknowledging who you are and the abilities that you have. Like, for example, not everyone's a medium, but you may have natural medium abilities or you might be very psychic or you might be very prone to do healing work. Healing is very important. So that's something that you can try as well. So the mystic, the mystic card is very, very important in, in our lives because everyone has some type of psychic ability, you know, some more than others. I mean, if I work professionally because I've, I've work very hard on training myself sat in groups for years work with my guys so I would call myself professional 
but if you want anything you put any time into naturally you're going to get good at aren't you so if you put time and effort into this card the mystic card and awaken your abilities your psychic abilities your healing abilities and give it a bit of time you'll become very good at what you do because behind energy if you've got a lot of passion energy will flow big time okay and the last card I got, it's, this is about abundance. Look, when you start to use the powers that be and your innovate, innate abilities being psychic and being very knowing and you're awakened, abundance is very good because what, what it will do, it will actually, you can draw, you draw all this positive energy to you and you can actually manifest anything you want. And we'll be talking about focus tonight and about prayer and how you can actually use master energies. Because in the spirit world, we have a whole lot of spirits that want to help us. We have our loved ones, we have the angelic realm, we have, um, and we have master energy. So there's so many beings of light, a beautiful, loving light energy. It's divine energy of life that, that can help us achieve what we need in this life. So you don't have to be poor. You can be abundant in so many ways. You can be abundant in the way you feel, in your health, in your relationships with people. When you use positive energy, you'll have a flow of abundance in your life, which is quite spectacular, really. And that's the secret. So if you're thinking anything negative, you just need to release it and let it go because it's taking up too much space in those in that brain of yours. So be positive, use affirmations and try and say them out loud. And the other thing we're going to be talking about are these master energies and how you can actually pray and invoke them. So would you like to join us, Violet? I will. I will. <coughs> Winter's coming, so we're all developing these little coughs now, aren't we? Little tickles. Little tickles. That's correct. I practiced in one of your pens, Karen. Can yes. you hand me one of those texters for later? For me, yeah, because everyone's trying to get their questions through this evening. Are they? Because I'm not picking up anything up on the screen whatsoever. Oh, I can. Oh, I see. It's okay. Empty. So I felt like Hi, I was everyone. talking to myself. Carrie feels like she's talking to herself because her screen isn't um, functioning the same way as normal. So okay, well, master energies, Violet, master energies, and beautiful energies. Well, we're going to be talking about that tonight. Yeah, absolutely. So it's a great time for that because yes. I noticed you mentioned um, Pluto retrograde so mm -hmm. people are going to be going through transformation that's right and the best way to contact these beings of light is through prayer so the first the first being we're going to be talking about is Jesus nice. and there he is there no that's not him there he is there mm. it's funny when I had this little picture years ago people used to say to me mm. uh, oh that's Jesus I say no it's not it's one of the actually one of the disciples yeah <coughs> There's Jesus there, see? Mm -hmm. The dark hair, the beard. There you go. So there's a picture of Jesus. And I used to carry this around in my wallet for years and you'd be surprised how many people do. So Jesus is quite amazing. I first learned about him in, in Sunday school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. I did attend Sunday yeah. school. Yep. Most of us did, didn't we? <laughs> we I don't I wasn't there um all the time. Mm-hmm. Did you wag it, did you? <laughs> yes, I can imagine you do that. I had a grandmother that um, was, you know, <clears throat> she was Irish and, you know, she liked cups of tea. And so I went when it suited her. And if she was annoyed with the priest, I didn't go at all. Well, I'm not Catholic <laughs> myself. But anyway, I learned all about Jesus when I was younger. Jesus, love you, blah, blah, blah. Yep. Anyway, Jesus was actually an amazing medium. Yeah, an amazing absolutely. healer. Absolutely. You know, just because he rode a donkey and he didn't have a stallion, you know, didn't no. make any lesser of a being. No, it doesn't. Absolutely Yes, not. but he was actually a very good healer. And I love the way he worked because he would use command. Mm. Like when all the people came and listened to him talk and he started to do his massive healing work, he would actually use, he healed by command, which was stand up and walk. Yeah, he did. Which he I was, found fascinating. Um, would you call him, I suppose in our days, we, we would call him a type of physical medium too, wouldn't we? Probably, yes. He, he was definitely a medium. And yep. also, don't forget, well, with the ports, like he produced the wine and the bread, yeah, absolutely. you know, for the masses. But that's why I feel he was such a threat because he stood out so much with his incredible energy. Look, the, the, the healing energy of a person and he 
He cared not for status and he cared not for riches and gold. And I think one of the most things that really stood with me through all of the learning and, and despite whatever you believe in in life, I won't say I'm a church person, um, I would just say what stood out for me was the fact that this man would walk amongst the poor, the weak, the downtrodden, and he would get down there and he would wash their feet and he would heal them. <coughs> and I think there's a lot of humility mm. and kindness mm. and there's an immense sense of love and connection in, in that energy. And we need more of it. We need more well, of it. Well, also Jesus produced miracles. Absolutely. Because we, through his healing work with his command work, he'd say, stand up and walk. Yeah. You can walk now. So, the per the, you know, there was people standing up and walking and... Mm -hmm. So that's why I was always fascinated with Jesus and also the fact that he was a medium. And the the thing that's funny though, like my belief is that he wasn't, he didn't die. Mm -hmm. I actually was told years ago, I studied with a woman from the States and uh, she used to channel a lot. She used to channel Jesus a lot. Yep. And she, t uh, she, she claimed that he actually left with his tribe, like he, he had a whole group of other people mm. that used to follow him, like Mary Magdalene yep, and the disciples. And they travelled all around the place, even as far as France, mm -hmm. you know, teaching the healing aspects of everything. So that was quite interesting. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's a lot in terms of that, despite what whatever each individual believes and everyone's entitled to their belief system, uh, is that, you know, when we look at that, there's a lot of literature that we didn't get to see. The Bible mm -hmm. is a very limited. That's correct. Um, limited I don't really believe reading. In, I'm not a source. I'm not a Catholic or a church or anything no. like that. I just find uh, I'm very attracted to Jesus because he was a great healer. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I've always been interested in healing, and many of us have. So, mm -hmm. if you need healing in your life, you need to call on Jesus. Yes, agree. Prayer is a wonderful thing. Jesus, thy will be done, is the mantra. Okay, the next energy we're talking about is Mother Mary. Very popular. Yep. And I have a have a statue there. Can we get her out? Show the audience. Oh, there she is up there. Oh my goodness. Ginormous Here right we go, in front guys. Here we go. Oh, she's a beautiful one. Right? <coughs> Got this cough going on, sorry. Oh, okay, there she is. There's Mother Mary. Hello. There's yeah. Mother Mary. There's my big statue. She sits here on um, Carrie's desk and guards over all proceedings. So and she's actually, she's energy. a bit of a ventriloquist. Oh, because when Carrie. I've got a problem, <laughs> I pray and I can actually see her mouth moving. Oh, I can yeah, see her okay. mouth moving. Okay, I'm so going to So it's like, with holy you. hell. You know, so um, she is, look, it's years ago I was down the south coast. I'll tell the story. Okay, okay. Years ago I was down the south coast and um, I saw her in a, like those $2 shops, you know, the window. Yeah, yeah. And I was walking past and I heard this voice, come on, get back. <laughs> Looking around thinking, what the hell? You know, I always have some yep. fascinating, yep. something Little, happened to me yep. in my journeys. Yep. And I looked across and it was the, this statue and I said, who's that? And it was Mother Mary. Mm -hmm. So I thought, and then I had to buy it. So I went in there and I bought it and I got it on sale. Yeah. Because I got it for half the price. It was a bargain. And then I walked out, I walked out, and my mother said, what the hell are you doing with that? You're not a Catholic. Yeah. Isn't she beautiful? But she Look is beautiful. Her. Yeah. My mother said, you're not a Catholic. What are you doing with that bloody statue? I do believe she comes into people's lives. To change miracles. To, yeah. And I have used her so many times. I can't tell you. Like, yeah. whenever I've got a problem with family, uh, mm -hmm. with health, or just work, problems yep. i just say a little prayer dear mother mary please help me i promise i won't mm. smoke drink or swear but you know i can never do that but anyway there you go huh? and um she's very good yes very hail very mary. good hail mary so there you go so mother mary and the funny thing is i've channeled her in groups all these beings i've channeled because i ran trance groups for years yeah and Mother Mary, um, she comes in really fast, mm -hmm. no mucking around, and then she goes. Yeah, straight to the point. And everybody receives a healing. Yeah. And that's the incredible thing. And there are so many people in the world who absolutely love Mother Mary. Yeah, well, I have to say I did have a statue of Mother Mary at one point in my life. Right. On my little balcony in Erskineville. I had a little blue statue of her. Um, probably the only time in my life, but she was obviously there for a very specific mm. reason and at a very specific time. It's really funny because 
I was, you know, I've, cha- I've tranced uh, Mother Mary and I've worked with her energy, but mm. I wasn't I'm really interested. So it's very strange how spirit sets up these little sort of moments. Yes. Where, where, when, and then obviously Mother Mary wanted to work through me. Yeah. And it's sort of, sort of, it's interesting how it sort of turns out. Yeah, which you know, energy follow stepped it. forward and, yes, and that's forward. correct. So working with Mother Mary has actually been very powerful because I, I know if I'm going through hard times, you can actually pray to her. Yep. And I run a seance group, seance group once a fortnight. I've been running this seance group for probably about 20 years. Mm. And um, I've got the Usain sitters, thank heavens, which I'm lucky yep. for. Yep. And uh, when I came to the group, they all brought Mother Mary pictures in. So they were obviously very interested experiencing and, because yeah. of the oversoul of the group mm-hmm. were all connected. They were experiencing they were the experiencing energy. the same energy as well. So they all came in with photos and we're going, What the hell? You've got a photo and we're all talking about our mother Mary experience. So it happened to the whole collective group. Yeah, absolutely. It happens when you sit in circle with people that, and you because sit in you connect with to the people. people. That's why it's very important to cut the person out of the oversoul if they leave. That's true. Because otherwise their energy will still be in that group. It still floats around. That's correct. So you need to get me. out of that. So that's Mother Mary. I'm not getting anything up here, Violet, on the screen. I know. You're, um... So I can't see who's calling in, everyone. So. Yep. Well, we've... Let me just... Um... Okay. Put that down because we have got literally so many people. Well, it's a shame I can't see anyone because usually I do a few improvising sort of... Well... But anyway, we'll move on. Uh-huh. We'll talk about Mary Magdalene next. Oh, and I posted this on the Facebook. Today. Yes. And it's really weird how the church gave her the name of the prostitute because I find that so offensive. Because Selective she was actually, storytelling. Mary Magdalene was part of the Gnostic group of healers mm-hmm. that Jesus worked with. Yep. And also Mary Magdalene is the wife of was the wife of Jesus. Mm-hmm. And she was a very good healer within her own right. Yes, well there was actually she wrote her own book. Just yes. the same as everybody else. She's so. very powerful. So she did travel around the south of France or and everywhere with Jesus and the group of people. Yeah. And um, she was very powerful with her in her own right. And she did have the same healing energies as Jesus, except yes, she, she was a woman. Yes, yeah, she did. She had a very much, she was very much present. Um, and a lot of the writings contained her energy. And, and in fact, she wrote her own um, book. Um, just that it, of course, didn't fit the narrative and therefore wasn't included. Yes. Um, and she, she brings the sense of freedom to spread your wings and to be free and to be in... She reminds me of a suffragette. Yes, she does. Like a powerful it? woman, you know, powerful she suffragette woman. She changes the narrative of the story when you look at her in true light. And you could imagine back in those days, you know, women, you know, they weren't allowed to sort of really... were not heads of anything, were they? No. No, most women were mothers, um, you know, stay at home. It was all they about the worked, man. Um, they helped with the work at home. Um, but no, they weren't really in positions <coughs> of that level of authority or so power. Mary Magdalene, I feel she's a very misunderstood um, energy. She's been completely um, throughout history in, in terms of where, where they've been allowed to, mm-hmm. um, you know, vilify in some ways, vilify and modify mm-hmm. a story. And I feel, yeah, yeah. so I don't know who's to blame, but I just want to let you all know, when we tranced her in the group, very powerful, we were all feeling very powerful, everyone was, all the women were very giggling and laughing and mm. carrying on and, and yeah, she was a very good healer and we really felt that beautiful divine Christ consciousness energy, so it was very, very powerful. And I think you have to look at it from this point of view too, is that um, Jesus at his time, He's not just running around with anyone running around with him. He's running around with people that are actually doing the same work and the same mindset uh, and are out there, you know, changing lives. That's right, and talking to the masses and actually making people feel uplifted. And that's what Jesus and Mary Magdalene were all about. Okay, whereas Mother Mary is all about the great miracles. Yes. Okay, the next deity I have is uh, Ganesh which is quite amazing. He's an Indian uh, deity and he's very good to have in your home for he stops any type of psychic attack and obstruction. Well, he's very handy then, isn't he? He's an elephant. So I've Mm -hmm. actually channeled him. It was quite funny. When 
when we challenged him in the group, I actually felt like I had a big elephant nose. Oh, right. And he's, he laughs a lot when you talk to him. <laughs> he's got a very light personality. But he's very good to put in different sections of your house. I have him in my office. Yeah. So I don't have any blocks. Yeah, very nice. I have him in the front door of the house, which is my career section. Mm -hmm. And he's good to have there to place him there. He's also very good to place him in the far right. Okay. Far right. Uh, far right that's relationships so you don't have problems if you're having any problems in family place him in the far right corner of your home everyone's or, rushing out for one now <laughs> or the far left yeah okay What's the far that? left which is your prosperity section oh very nice so okay. i've actually got him in my career section out the front of my house so he removes the blocks obstacles if you're having obstacles. a block and okay. you know like for example like i'm a writer and i, I talk to other writers and they go oh carrie i'm having such a block and i said well get a ganesh and put him on your um desk and you'll yep. notice that um and Pray to him, pray to Ganesh. You know, he's really big in India. Yes. Big yeah. time. So, so the other thing of statues and stuff, I always like to put little bangles and things on them. It's like a little offering. And it's I like, like a, to spray like them gold. Altar. See, he has a little coin here, a little feng sway coin. Ah, oh, very nice. So there you go. I've got, here he goes there. I'm thanking him for his service. Mm -hmm. So I work with a lot of um, goddesses, yep. um, a lot of beautiful, loving energies, and it's amazing. You have a lot of fun. Yeah, but I learned a lot. I learned a lot about these energies when I trance them, mm. and we used to bring them into the group, and everyone got messages. So there you go. That's Ganesh. Very powerful. If you're having blocks in your life, you know any stage, like if you're having problems in relationships, put him in your far right of the home, no matter where it is, even if it's in a toilet. And if you want money, um, you need to put him in the far left, at the front of the house for your career section. So. Use Ganesh because he stops all obstructions. So he's a very interesting, interesting deity. Okay, the next uh, being we're going to be talking about is Sai Baba. Yes, I've heard you mention him yeah. a fair bit. Sai Baba, actually, he's passed over in the spirit world now. But years ago, I was in a meditation group and uh, I was working with these older women who'd all been over to India to see him. He's another miracle worker. And everyone lo loves Sai Baba, I have to say. You know, if you're into him, you're either into him or you're not. And uh, when I was opening up, oh, when I was probably in my 20s, I was opening up very fast, very rapidly when I was in this meditation group. And the leader of the lady who was into Sai Baba said, Kerry, place Sai Baba under your bed. And he this will stop all psychic attack. Okay. Because years ago, I used to get a lot of psychic attack, you know, like mm, spirits. Yeah. I'd be getting strangled. Other uh, spirits would be jumping on top of Sitting me. Sitting on you. Or, or someone that I met didn't like me, so I'd be getting attacked, like energy was thrown at me. So I've always had a picture of Sai Baba under my bed, yeah, which is quite fascinating, under the mattress. So um, he's very good for psychic attack. And it's amazing. When you're into Sai Baba, oh, I had an office years ago in another part of Sydney, and people used to come in and they said, oh, you're into Sai Baba. And, I, and they, I'd go, because I had a picture of him on the wall. And I'd go, yeah, he's lovely. And, and they all said they were too. So it's something very personal, Sai Baba. I know people who, he was very misunderstood at one time because he was accused of being a pedophile. Oh, okay. I don't want to So, you know, the same as John of God. Oh, yes, John of God. Yes, like yes. I used to do yeah. all the John of God healings in Balmain. And, yeah. Um, a lot of people go over there. He's a miracle worker. He works with okay. Jesus energy. Mm -hmm. These beings work with Jesus energy. Mm, so all it's right. interesting. But they lived in on on, the, on this plane, right? So Sai Baba, he um, he's incredible. Like if you want to Google him, check him out because Sai Baba is very good, and I, he's very good for psychic attack for these young people that really want to get into their abilities and yep. are having problems. They need some protection. Okay. You know, they haven't got spirits jumping all over them like I experienced. So this is what you use and he will protect your home you just have to ask ask for help that's all you have to do okay the next um deity i'm going to be talking a very about goddess strong is one. isis yeah that's a nice strong one isis was an egyptian goddess so you probably all heard about her it's funny years ago when i uh first was introduced to isis the goddess it's interesting how that terrorist group in the world has been called isis yes <laughs> yeah, people get it confused, but this is yeah, Isis, do. the Egyptian goddess. Yes, very much of, an ancient Egyptian goddess. Fantastic. Like, she's very much for, you can use her for a lot of things. Oh, life and death. Uh, I mean, she was, she has. She's the, very ancient. Uh, 
power over all things She's, there. And when we channeled the group, like I'd, I'd bring her through in the, in the trance group and everyone, you know, we have a talk later about what did they think of her. I actually saw her as Grace Jones. Yeah, well, she she would come across as a very she had powerful, dark skin. She was um, very tall, and I thought, oh my god, it's Grace Jones, but she's still alive. But it was Isis. I saw her as a dark Egyptian woman, very very dark skin, and other people saw her. You know, blonde, people have their own sort of idea interpretations, and, mm. and even the way that you view things. Spirits and guides often give you symbolism and ideas in different ways, and and ideas. So. They're giving you the idea of them. That's right. So Isis are very good. It's, it's to really empower you. All these all deities, goddesses, uh, beautiful energies, they're all to empower you. That's what it's all about. We're not trying to uh, change you. We're just trying to help you with these energies that you can actually channel because they are all frequencies of light. Anyway, the last goddess I want to talk about before we start with the readings is uh, Freya. Oh, I love Freya because she's a Norwegian she goddess. She's lovely. Noshka goddess. And a years ago I lived in Norway, Scandinavia, and she's an ancient goddess of uh, Scandinavia. Yes, she is. And I found her fascinating because she's very bold. She's very, you know, it's about spreading your wings when you tune into Freya the goddess. She's very powerful. And it's all, again, very similar, you know, really coming into that feminine energy. Yes, yeah, she is. She's very much um, the feminine, has that fertility mm. aspect to her and beauty. Um, we see her represented in the rune stones, so That's she has correct. her own et. Yes. Um, so in, in ruins, we have the three ets, and Freya has her own, um, and she represents that beauty, love, and, and really into the heart chakra. So, and the other thing is too, like it's very old, very old, old Norwegian. Yes, she is. She's it's very, she's very old. She's Viking. And back in the day, they used to have these sort of pagan ceremonies. Yes, they Where they, they used did. to have sacrifices. <laughs> yes, they did. And, you know, giving praise to Freya the goddess. Yep. And also she could also be the goddess of war too. Yes, she's very she, strong, she, very she had a very strong, dark, every goddess it's got a dark side. It has a dark aspect mm -hmm. to them because that comes to the law of polarity. That's correct. So you cannot see light or understand light without darkness. So these are just a few of the, uh, the beautiful light beings that I wanted to talk about tonight. I feel they're very powerful. They're very uplifting. They're used for healing. So, And the way to really connect with these energies is to focus, to work with intent your intention and also to just ask for help if you need it because you don't have to be alone as i said you have your guides your spiritual guides you have the angelic realm and also you have the master energies and you have the goddess energies and asking for help in your life about moving forward and it's very powerful so you do it through the act of prayer and intention yes you do and um that time that type of prayer carry it's like you're always talking about it's it's the meditation process it's that that's correct deeper connection which brings us back to that present moment mm. that now right but before we move on to the readings like you're a green witch yes so you work with nature we do we work with nature and uh, we work with the nature aspects i did grow up um people mistake this quite often with um gypsies but I did very much grow up with a God aspect, um, not necessarily a church aspect, but with a very strong God aspect. And so we're a little bit like the Old Testament God. Would you call yourself a pagan? No, no, I wouldn't. So who do you, who are you attracted to? These are just a few I've suggested. Um, with me, all father is actually mine so um if you look for an analogy of all father it's your old testament gold mm -hmm. or it's your odin or woden odin right yeah wasn't he the god of the underworld um well he's all father so all fathers in, in viking terminology odin or woden yes um sits in the great hall above and he is like the hangman of the tarot right so he hangs upside down on the tree of knowledge and you know he has the spear in his side so he has a spear in there and he hangs there for so many days and he waits for the great knowledge to come in the weir 
Mm. And this is where he discovers the ruins. So Old Father and Woden, very much like the Old Testament God. So my question is, for example, I, I work with these deities mm. or these goddesses or these uh, frequencies. Yes. So who would you pray to? I pray to I pray to my All Father and my Great Mother. So that's who's the mother? Great Mother is like Danu to us. Okay. So she is... She birthed the world, if you like. She has the world in here. And it's very much an Irish um, original goddess or a Celtic original goddess. But we call her Great Mother. Um, and so it's very much like, um, you know, it's very much like God and, and uh, it's sort of your Mary energy, really. Okay. Um, so it, it translates. Mm -hmm. um, but, no, I very much have that connection to the Great the Great Mother and the All Father. So it's interesting because we're coming to two perspectives. I'm the yes. medium and you're the green witch. Yes. So there you go. It's a balance. So we, mm. And you do your psychic work, don't you, whereas I'd probably do more mediumship. Yes, right? correct. I so, don't do the mediumship. I no. work with my um, guides uh, for my psychic work. Mm. So all my, all my information mostly comes from listening. Yes. So we're going to be moving on now. So we've got a few questions. So is there any right. questions about... I don't have a screen here to see what people are asking, so it's a bit a bit hard, actually. So sorry if I didn't answer any questions while I was talking to you, because the screen's playing. It's always something with these technology things, isn't They're it? They're always changing something. Yeah, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm talking to loved ones tonight. I, this, this is from this side. So if you see me turn my head this way, it's actually a spirit standing there. And... Um, I'm talk, listening to the voice, so sometimes it's often when with clients it's a three-way conversation. And if I'm looking this way, I'm talking to my guide, and also I'll be pulling a few tarot cards. These are the mythic tarot cards, and what I do, I tap it three times and I just bring some white light down to clear it, and that will clear the decks for the night and give it a bit of a shuffle. Okay, so the first person we have is Vivian Patterson. My back has gone out. Am I going to be okay? The first thing I feel, I feel with your back, Vivian, I feel that your back's been causing you problems for a very long time. I don't know if it's from an old injury, but um, it's really driving you crazy and you worry, worry, worry. And I feel when you get stressed out, I feel your back goes out is what they're telling me. I've got a, um, I've got a male in the spirit. Well, I don't know if this is your grandfather. And he's telling me that you're always a worrier, you're always worrying and you worry about family. And you really need to meditate, is what I get, Vivian, and just not to think about silly things. I feel with your back, you really need to do strengthening exercises. And I feel a really good uh, chiropractor would be really good for you. And who and, or physio to show you exercises, because I do feel it's a weakness. And it always comes at a time when... Um, you go through a lot of stress. So they're telling me you may be having problems with one of your kids is what I'm getting. I've got your grandfather here. He's, he's telling me he's uh, related to you anyway. He's a male. It's not your father, more like a grandfather. He's telling me that you always worry about the kids all the time and you may be having problems with one. And every time something bad happens, and also money, you worry about money all the time too is what he's telling me. He said it's constant. She's always worrying about something and he's laughing. He said you need to really smell the roses. Um I do feel that you will be okay, but I do feel you really need to go and see a physiotherapist and start to do the exercises. Will you be okay? Absolutely, you will. Smooth waters. Okay, Elena Worth. I've been back on my spiritual path. Is there any guidance for me as I find my faith again? I just feel there's been a lot of sadness around you, Elena, and I feel it's been very tough, and I feel that you're, it's whatever, what does, I hear the saying, you've been very stuck. I hear the saying that what doesn't kill you makes you stronger and I feel that really sort of uh, is applicable for you. I feel that yes, you are a very spiritual, beautiful person and it's amazing that you don't work with counselling or children or anything like that because I feel that there may be a change in career with you and I can see you going in a different direction is what I'm getting and you will get on the spiritual path because I do feel you are very spiritual. You just need to let go of all the worry, all the stress and everything. Um, also, I'm being told that flowers are very good for you. You love the, you love beautiful things, flowers. And also, there may be a bit of clutter around you at the moment. They're showing me a bit of clutter. You really need to let go of the toxic clutter, um, things that you've accumulated in your home, and also toxic people and just moving away from all that and starting again. I feel really it's very important for you to move ahead 
and also there may be a male who has really upset you but you've got the victory card here so you will definitely move ahead so there you go so I'm glad I could help you and blessings to you you're a beautiful soul okay the next person I've got is Ebony Hickey am I moving interstate the first thing I feel Ebony you really need a change you really need to you've been thinking about this for a long time it's about a reinvention time I do feel you will but it's just a matter of time I just feel there's a lot of delays around you for some reason um, I don't I'm, I'm, if you do go into state I feel it, it'll be somewhere near the water is what I'm getting and I feel it'll be good I feel a new move would be fantastic for you it's just very very frustrating so you just need to be patient and in the meantime I feel that um, I know you're kind of waiting around I feel writing would be really good for you writing down like a diary and how you feel every day but I do feel you've got a new life coming it's about nurturing yourself and you do have a lot of support especially from a woman in your life Julie Mastravali will I meet my soulmate Julie I feel Julie I feel when I tune into you I feel you're a very gentle soul and you're very sensitive probably an empath I do feel you will meet but I do you will meet your soulmate but at the moment you sort of you're not in the you haven't got the energy you haven't got the energy so I would suggest because you're, you're, you're quite moody you're quite emotional you're quite raw it's almost like you've got this open wound so I would suggest cutting the ties with all the people that have hurt you in your life and starting again be proactive and once you've cut the ties you won't feel so negative and you'll be able to move forward I do feel there is a relationship coming up for you later this year I'm getting around November December January uh, going into the uh, next year I do feel there's definitely a soulmate relationship for you I feel you're going to be very happy and I feel it's definitely through nurturing yourself more and really honoring who you are as a soul because it's like you give so much to other people and it's like you're just working 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 all the time worried about everybody else except yourself so that's what you need to do so when you do that things will really work out for you but just be patient there is a soulmate for you I feel he's tall and I feel he may have sort of dark hair that's what I'm getting Amelia Joel Amelia Joel my health is concerning me is there anything I need to do the first thing I feel for you Amelia I feel you really need to go and get a blood test I don't know if you do this annually but I feel it's very important because I feel that there may be something lacking in your system something's going on anyway um, I don't feel it's anything you know bad or ominous I just feel you need to get a blood test and I feel that um, you're just tired you're very tired and you've got no energy at the moment and it's quite exhausting for you so I do feel that when you have the blood test you'll sort of get to the bottom of it you need a really good checkup and you know don't put your head in the sand and I feel once you do that things will really start to um, move ahead for you and um, I feel you being happy and relief I feel relief around you I have to say and um, definitely go to the doctor get your blood checked get a checkup and they're being told that you'll be okay also you need to rest too because I feel you've got so much going on all the time especially in your head and it's hard for you to make decisions because for some reason you seem to have a lot of responsibility in your life so you know maybe delegate that as well and stop worrying we seem to have a lot of worriers tonight mm for some reason okay we've got Mary Rose do you see any happiness for me I am feeling so stuck I'm hoping there is a shift well whenever I feel stick uh, stuck Mary Rose I, I clear out my clutter from my house and that generally gets everything going out in the outer so I start with my house I go through all everything anything I don't need that no longer serves me I chuck it out or I give it to the salvos I go through my clothes everything and and then I give it a good sage out I give my house a really good sage out or a smoke out and I find that um, things will really really change I just feel also there may be some friends around you that may need to go to especially from a female someone who's been giving you a hard time and I also feel that there may be some sort of new work coming for you as well which will be a welcome change so yes so I do feel it's like in a reinvention time it's funny because we're coming up to April the 27th yes correct. to this big shift so everything's going to come out so now's the time uh, for you to start to get going and start to change your life with 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 for yourself okay Debbie Savage 
any advice about my relationship with my elderly mother? The first thing I'm getting is patience, patience, patience. I feel your mother is very difficult, I have to say. And look, you're not a bad person, but we all get tested with our parents, don't we? I mean, every time I see mother, I feel like I'm 10 years old uh, again and all the work I've done on myself over the years has gone out the window so I feel you're mm -hmm. the same because it's funny because our parents really they turn into children don't they I feel she has a thing where she kind of hangs on to thing hangs on to things and she may go over and over it but I feel that's just her own stuff I feel she's just a little bit resentful at the moment she actually needs like a happy pill is what I get so with your mother you just need to be patient and I feel she may need a bit of assistance in the home. So I'd be looking at something like NDIS or something, someone else to come in and do that sort of hard work and try and spend quality time with her because she really does love you. It's just that she's very stuck in the past, like most mothers are. They go over and over and over stuff, like way back, like 20 years ago or 30 years ago. It's amazing some of the stuff that they dig up, isn't it? It is mothers. amazing. Mothers know everything. Mothers know everything. They used to have this show on TV called Mothers Do Have, have Them. Yes. Mothers <laughs> Do Have Them. It was hysterical. It was about this guy who had the most angriest cross his mother and he was always running around all the time like, oh, what can I do? It's the same thing with you, Debbie. Just be patient. You know, the elderly, they're very fragile and they're, they're very difficult and it's a struggle. I know it's a struggle because I'm in the same position myself. They drive you crazy, but you just got to let it go and understand they kind of revert back to their childhood, don't they? Yes, they do. And and some of them play play them against each other, you know, different members of the family. And that's pretty scary too, and I'm sure we've all been through that one. But she does love you. Okay, Tammy Seymour, is there a message for me from my mum? It's her birthday tomorrow. The first thing I'm getting for you, Tammy, your mum's telling me that she feels that she went before her time. She feels she was like young. I feel that she was sick. She's telling me she got very sick and she was very sad. And um, But you always had a very strong spiritual connection to her is what I'm getting. And um, she's saying she feels like... She, I pick her up as quite young, your mum, because she was like a young girl, like a young girl. But towards the end of her life, it was very, very sad because of what happened to her. Because... We all believe we're still young. Even even when we get older, we still believe we're young. And I still feel she felt that way. I feel she comes around you a lot. And she's telling me that there's some sort of new beginnings for you. And um, you may have been stuck in a situation, but I do feel that you will be moving ahead. And also, your mum loved flowers. She, I don't know if she worked in the garden. But she's showing me a garden. She liked to look out and look at the garden. And she liked people too, but she, she changed towards the the uh the last part of her life and it was very sad for her is what she's getting but a passing was very fast is what she's saying and she comes around you when she first passed she's telling me she came through you through dreams also i'm getting the name yvonne i don't know if that was a friend of hers or what the name is but she's given me the name yvonne and a name john which may be significant to you tammy and she's letting and she's um she's telling me she's with someone very special in the spirit world so there you go. And she's talking about a young girl who looks very similar to your side of the family. There's a young girl around you who looks very similar, who's very similar to her side of the family is what she's saying. Uh, Courtney J, I have started talking to someone at this moment. Is it a good thing? Okay, Courtney J, I've started talking to someone at this moment. Okay, this must be an online thing. Let's have a look. The first thing I'm getting for you is I feel that you, you have trust issues, Courtney, because I feel there's been a few jackasses around you, um, unsavoury types. And the guy, so that's what's making you um, very cautious because you're not sure. But look, I have to say, if you're still feeling cautious at this stage, I, I don't know if this guy's really the right one or you've done enough work on yourself to get rid of the trust issues. I don't pick him up as a bad person. I feel it's if you're going to get anywhere with this guy, it's a time thing. So you need to take it very, very slowly. I feel you're very caught up in the past because I can see the darkness behind you, the sadness, the betrayal, the unsteadiness. So I feel that you really need to cut the ties with all that and have a bit of faith because I feel this person isn't bad. So give him a go and get to know him as a friend and don't jump in like you usually do. I'm being told I can hear a lady's voice talking to me and she said he's not the same as the others that you've been involved with. A few no no hope. This is what I'm hearing. Okay. Elena. 
have I met my soulmate? Is, is this the one? Elaine, the first thing with you is I feel that you're like a very young girl. Have I read this one before? No. Alana, no. Okay. She's with, this one's different. The other one wanted to know if she was going to be. Okay, okay, Alana. I feel, have I met my soulmate? Is this the one? I feel with you, Alana, I feel you've been waiting a long time to meet someone is what I'm getting. So I'm seeing new beginnings around you and I feel things will go well. I feel, I get quite excited and I feel this, this person's really nice. So um, I feel he's someone that you can really talk to. I pick him up as a gentle person, very gentle, very sweet, um, someone that you can really talk to and you feel safe with. So give it time and just enjoy the experience is what I'm getting because it's almost too good to be true. I do feel this person, they may have had a bit of baggage from the past. So um, it's hard for them too is what I'm getting. Long term, I feel that um, there's definitely a friendship in this. So just hang in there and, and give it a chance and see where it goes. Okay, Karen Hallaby, I'm struggling with my focus at the moment. Any advice, please? With you, Karen, I just feel a great tiredness with you. I feel you really need to get your, um, I don't know if it's depression or it's an iron deficiency, but I feel exhausted, exhausted when I tune into your energy. And I, I just feel that you really need to um, maybe go and see someone. And because um, I just feel you've got, you can't make decisions is what I'm getting for you. It's really hard for you to, you need to talk to someone, whether it be a doctor or a male or your father or someone, you need to really talk to someone about where you're at and where you're going. Because I just feel you've got too much. It's like, you, it's really hard for you to make decisions and um, contemplate, you know, where you're going with your life and what's happening because it's just exhausting. I'm exhausted. So you may have an underlining depression is what I'm feeling. So go and get that checked out and stop trying to do so many things all at once that you normally do. You really need to slow it down is what I'm getting. Okay. We've got Lynn. Lynn Polderdano. Polderdano, is that correct? Mm. Um, Lynn's saying, is, please, is there any um, advice coming through about my work? With you, I feel that you've got too much work around you. Like you've, you've got a lot of stuff on your plate is what, I'm, is what I'm getting. And I feel that there's not time to make changes yet. You need to wait. You need to wait. I don't feel anything really happening for you till next year. I just feel you want to quit now. You want to leave. You want to get a new job. But I do feel you will. There's another opportunity coming for you is what they're saying. And I just feel you, you kind of need to wait. Don't jump in because it could turn out something similar to what you're doing. I just feel it's very frustrating. I don't know what's going on there, but I just don't feel that they're really promoting you with this job and um, or they're giving you too much work. So eventually I do feel you're getting new work. I don't feel you're going to stay there. And I have to be honest. Okay, Christine Moss. Looking for advice for my son's job. He's not happy where he is. I just feel wherever he is, there's a lot of ding-dongs around him, like stupid people, and they're all, everyone seems to be very unsettled. I don't feel the money's very good either. I don't know whether he's decided to do some sort of training or something. I just feel he's definitely in the wrong job and I can't see him staying there. So um, I feel he wants to move on because it's not, I don't feel it's the right place for him because there's a lot of, as I said, ding-dong people around him. But he's not sure where he wants to go or what he wants to do. But I do see him getting another job. And also I see some sort of studying. There's some sort of study or uh, training that he's going to be doing, which is going to be life-changing for him. And it's going to give him much better opportunities. Where he is, there's too many ding-dongs. So I'm getting probably within three months' time there's a change and there's a new training come up, coming up for him. And it's going to be absolutely life-changing. It's something really big which he'll love. And he's been thinking about it for a long time. And I feel your son's a very gentle soul. And I'm not saying he wants to go into the police force, but I feel something like that, something more ordered would be really good for him because I feel he could really work his way up, something in a job that he could work his way up. Where where he is now, I feel there's too many ding-dongs. I'm hearing the name ding-dong. <laughs> so probably stupid people, would you say? No, What's ding -dong? I believe that's what it means. Yeah, so I think it's keep saying it to you. Ding-dong. I'm hearing cuckoo, stupid, dumb, you know, those sort of people, ding-dongs. So, yeah, I, I feel sorry for him, but he won't stay there. He needs to make the choice. He's not sure about what he wants to do. He needs something more regiment, regimented so he can actually work his way up. And also, I do feel water's very good for him. I see him 
by the water swimming or just sitting by the beach and really contemplating about what he wants to do because he's not sure and that's the problem that's what's causing all the hassles but definitely he will not stay in his job because it's not good it's not the right people it's ugh, yucky okay Whitney Price where is my life heading I feel I have no path or direction at the moment I feel you've had a big emotional Oh, volcanoes happen to you I feel it's emotional it's almost like I feel it's over a man or something like if someone's left you or left your life and it's it's like it's too much and it's very very sad so it's almost like you're in a void my suggestion to you with with Whitley it would throw yourself into work so I feel there's work around you um, which would be very good for you and just forget about men boys relationships all that sort of thing so just start working and um, just work hard and work on your money and and because money is very good because money can give you freedom you can travel you can do things and children are very important for you too I do feel you have a lot of support around you emotional support I feel it's family and stuff but I'm seeing some sort of new work I feel it'd be really good for you to really throw yourself into and not worry about your love life so much in the stupid um, people around you you've had a few ding-dongs too I can see but anyway he'll um, concentrate on work all right and you'll be fine you're a very strong smart girl and I feel you have a lot of support from family and friends around you Jacinta will my job keep me on with your job I don't feel there's a contract there I feel it's temporary I feel these people it's covert so they're not really sort of letting anyone on is what I'm getting I, look I don't feel eventually that you'll stay there I feel that it's good for now I feel you're taking the money but I feel there's something else coming up for you probably next year I feel definitely there's another job coming up for you and it could be some sort of contract work or something which leads to something better I feel where you are now I feel they're just sort of doing this to everyone so it's just not you so there definitely is an opportunity with work coming uh, more um, towards the end of the year next year so definitely you'll be okay financially so don't worry and let's face it you always land on your feet so nothing to worry about I want to interject for Katie because the first time you were with us mm -hmm. and she just read she's got a few things there on her Reiki she'd like to address and she also said she's single but her ex is hanging around right well he's got to go because he's no good for you it's what I'm getting Katie so Katie I completed all three Reiki levels and I feel not spiritual enough that's ridiculous because Reiki is actually opens you up so you probably need to process it especially the third level because that gives you a lot of responsibility so I feel that I get the tower card around you I really feel that you've been given a big shake up I feel your ex wants to come back but you know intuitively that he's not the right person for you so that's why you moved away I just feel being there done that also he doesn't understand who you are and what you want to do and where you want to go you are a very kind compassionate empath Katie so you really need to be with someone that really understands you and loves you your ex I feel that he's sure he misses you but you know do leopards change their spots okay Jess am I on the right track I'm feeling very lost a lot of lost people tonight lots of it's lots. almost like April the 24th this big shift has already kicked in yeah it's it, we tend to call it the shadow land so it pulls shadow people land in, right to suck them into the transition terrible okay with you Jess I feel you really need to sit down and contemplate what you need to really do with your life um, on my website there's a very good exercise called cutting the ties I feel you have a few people in your life that um, confuse you and need to go and I feel once you clear the boards they're telling me clear the boards everything will be okay look I get a lady in spirit around you I don't know I don't know if it's your mother I don't or an older woman related to your mother's side is what I'm getting I feel there's something to do with the heart because I feel very breathless when I tune into her and she's telling me that you've been through a lot in your life and there's a lot of sadness there and too many bad things have happened to you is what I'm getting but she said you need to be more positive because it's like you're surrounded by negativity and negative thoughts all the time so I feel a really good counselor would be good for you she's telling me you're very strong I definitely it's almost like you've got some sort of anxiety or something also this lady had heart issues and she's coming through she's letting you know that um, she loves you and everything's going to be okay she's telling me the path ahead is clear so that's something good to know the path ahead is very clear so things will straighten out probably within the next three months I feel different things will present themselves so just hang in there is what she's saying 
and she said she's very proud of you because you've come so far, come so far, come so far. Okay. Any other questions? We have someone who really, we have a few people who really like to know about what you think about, you know, praying to different gods and goddesses. Is yes. It okay? is yes, it, it is. Issue? It's what praying, praying is actually, it opens up a portal, like a doorway into the spirit world. And if you're praying, for example, if you believe in Jesus or God or you're, you're into um, Odin or whatever, it's about asking for help and about calling in positive energies. The same as the angels. Angels are much higher frequency than master energies and angels are always there to assist us. So if you're worried about anything like that, why don't you start working with angels? You have so many beautiful angels in the world. You have uh, the so many angels, just I can't even think. The Gabriel, Michael, up the archangel is very good to, to help you clear the clutter in your life. He comes in with his sword. Pray and you will have assistance. Um, as for miracles straight away, I feel Mother Mary's very good for that. She's very good for healing. And often, you know, when we worry about people in our life, you know, like we might have elderly parents or we might have someone um, sick who's got cancer and you know we don't know what to do you can actually pray and by praying it actually you can send them healing send them beautiful healing energy and send them love and they will actually benefit from that and i do a lot of i'm trained in reiki as well years ago and also i do a lot of absent healing so just by sending a thoughts positive thoughts out to different clients or friends i'll send this positive energy and i will pray for them and they'll often say gee you know Thank you. I felt your energy around me. I dreamt about you last night and or I felt something like this. And they'll let you know the benefits because it's amazing how it's worked. It's it's about creating magic in your life. But everyone can be spiritual. As I said, when we pray, we open up a portal of light, working with these beautiful light beings, and they come and assist you. You never call on negative energies or demons or negative energies. You never call on them because they're very hard to get rid of. So you don't even go there. So you go with positive energies like angelic beings. You go with master energies, as I mentioned before. And these beings, it's your intention. That's how it works. So yes, it's got a lot of benefits. So just open up your spirituality and be open for change. And you'll be surprised how it really works and what will happen. Okay, I can't read that name, Mopo. I believe Mopo Tiship. Mopo, I feel that um, things have been very tight for you financially is what I'm getting. And it's almost like you're going round and round and round and round in circles all the time. I just feel, I feel that you may have another um, at least 12 to 18 months before you're out of all this financial debt or problems. But, you know, keep working, keep going and also... Um, it'd be really good if you could um, see an accountant because I don't know if you know how to save properly or someone that can help you. There's a male figure there I'm getting that can show you how to work with the money more. Also, I do feel there's going to be some sort of new work coming for you because there's a contract. There's a contract coming up. This is with a new job and this comes up probably in the summer months or uh, warmer months is what I'm getting and that's very good. So I definitely see a new contract for you. I feel you're signing the contract and I feel definitely more money coming to you. And um, But you need to talk to someone about the way you handle money because in very much money comes in and money goes out. I don't know if you're giving a lot of money to family and friends, but I feel you need to kind of put a stop on that and start to think of yourself too because it's really affecting your health. Karina France, my best friend passed in January. When will I find her? presence the first thing i'm getting is i feel that she's a lovely lady but she's telling me karina she was very very sick for a very long time and also she's sorry that you didn't have access to her before she died because of things that were out of her control for some reason is what she's saying um she didn't mean to hurt you in any way but it's almost like someone stepped in and stopped you from doing things i feel that uh you, she misses you very much and she was a person that you could have um, very long conversations with. I don't know what was wrong with her. I feel it was like a terminal illness, but I feel she may have lost a bit of her hair because she's looking at her hair and saying how horrible it was towards the end of her life. About her hair fell out or her hair was thin or something like that. And she just didn't have any energy towards the end of her life. And it was a very long, tiring, slow 
process and you used to talk to her about a lot of things she's telling me she's seen your partner your ex-partner in the spirit world and she said he's doing very well and apparently he visits you all the time especially in your dreams and also sometimes he comes and visits you when you're asleep in your bed she's talking about how well the children are doing and i feel one of the kids is very good at sport I feel it could be a male, very, very good at sport. He's very active and, and apparently they love their new home and they're very happy where they are. But things have really turned 360 for you. She's telling me that um, she's very concerned about her partner. It's almost like he's changed. He's sort of gone into himself and he doesn't really have a lot of people or anything around him. So it's not just you, it's him. I don't feel he's, go I feel he's going through a bit of a hard time. But um, it's like he's, he knew she was dying, but it was hard for him to face the reality of it with you though she's telling me didn't we have some good times we had lots of friends and so she's shown me a few songs like frank sinatra we did it my way and she's laughing because we had some very good times she's very happy she said i'm always with you i'm always with you it's just that um you don't know it you don't know it she said don't worry keep going keep going and also she's talking about you're going on some sort of health kick or diet because she said you're sick of huffing and puffing around the house and she's laughing she said I oh, the opposite she said I couldn't keep weight on and she's laughing but she said you will lose it keep going she said you feel like a hippopotamus and she's laughing <laughs> she's laughing she said you're sort of huffing and puffing all the time she's don't worry you're doing fine keep going keep going also she's talking about some new work for you she's been so excited to come through tonight is what she's saying she said we haven't spoken in a long time haven't we I'm sorry I didn't get to say goodbye but she said you know that I'm always with you I'll always love you well you were like a sister to me is what she's saying and she's giving you a big heart she's sending me a big heart this person was a very special I feel she was part of your soul group uh, Karina and I feel she was very much in your life and she still is so don't worry she's still around you she loves you very much she's thanking you for everything that you did and it's just so wonderful thinking of the beautiful times that you had together laughing and talking and a lot of crying a lot of crying but you had those beautiful moments together saying so something that will you can keep forever and she's just telling me she loves you and I'm sorry I didn't see you before I went sorry before I didn't see you before I went I'm sorry I'm sorry and that's it so there you go okay we've got one more anyway I hope that helped you Karina and love to you let's have a look I feel whatever you're doing I feel you've really gone full circle in your life all the sadness is gone and I just see you moving ahead in leaps and bounds and you've got a beautiful place I can see you being very happy uh, and I feel that you love where you live because it's like summertime all the time Christina any messages from my departed parents do they know if my work will lead me somewhere with you Chris I feel your parents uh, were together a very long time they may have been married quite young and um, they're just saying that they they sort of did everything together and they looked after each other like and they always worried about the children and with you I do feel your work will get somewhere it's almost like you miss their you miss the relationship with your parents don't you and I feel that um, I feel they were both very sick though and very difficult to get around especially your father he's telling me he couldn't walk towards the end of his life and it was very sad and um, he miss, misses everyone your father was a really big worker and also he had this thing about food like fresh food like he, he liked your mum to cook fresh food and you know from the garden and that sort of thing and he believed in what you become you eat with you I feel you've been frustrated for a very long time and I do feel there'll be a new role coming up for you in the next couple of months I see you putting your hand up he's saying he said put your hand up and things will happen and and at the moment you've got a little bit of, bit of anxiety around you because it's been very difficult and very challenging but things will change especially towards the summer months so just I see for the time now it's sort of head down bum up your dad sends his blessing he said he's with mum don't worry about anything and he wants you to keep all the family together and very very proud very very proud lots of love lots of love and blessings from the spirit world um, also I don't know if one of the parents had a cough <coughs> cough or breathing is what I'm getting which was very irritating and also I've got someone who was a smoker in the spirit world around you had terrible cough I mean he's terrible cough and smoker you smoke lots so I smell tobacco around you so I don't know who that was but we'll just leave it there okay
people are asking about your next show and we do have one coming up, Kerry. Yes, we've got the next show coming up in um, June. June. Yes, I'll be down at Wingdang. So anyone who's in the Wingdang area, I'm not sure about the date. It's advertised on the website. Yep, I'm and, putting it all in the feed. Too. And also on Facebook. So that'll be my first show in this area. I did a show up at Uluru last year. So it's the first show this year. It starts off in Wingdang and it's always a great crowd, great night. It's a two-hour show. A lot of talking, a lot of laughing, music, everything. We have a great time. And then I'll be in Sydney doing a show and I'll be at, um, trying to think where it is. It's in the city anyway. It's in Sydney. I can't even think where it is. Um, I'll be advertising. I'll be advertising. They'll that. all be going up on Facebook, on Instagram. Really important everyone joins the feed. Yes, just joining the feed. I'll be Look, I'll be advertising the shows anyway. And so I, I love doing these spirit shows. So it's a lot of fun and I never know what's going to happen. But anyway, look, I look forward, Violet, and I look forward the next time of talking to you. If there's any subjects that you would like to join me, if there's any subjects you'd like to um, for us to talk about in the subject section, we'd love for you to give us a bit of input, wouldn't we? Yeah, absolutely. I noticed tonight a lot of people talking about their spiritual journey and were yes. really interested in how to improve their techniques as healers and psychics and interested in how cards work lots of always lots of inquiries about um, tarot readings and the tarot cards and remember anytime anything you put any energy in whether it's your mediumship your tarot your psychic work your healing the more energy and the more intention you put in it with passion it will accelerate absolutely absolutely so we're we're happy to sort of look into these subjects for you um, please drop those comments in so that we can bring you some really exciting content. Yes. Um, well, I loved here at reading and Kerry gets to read them all a little bit later because tonight we had some issues with feed. Thank you everyone for your patience. Um, it's really lovely um, to have you all with us and to do it. Kerry Absolutely. just loves doing this. So we're going to have lots of shows coming up and we want to meet you all. So make sure when you see the shows go up, if it's near you or you want to make that outing, make sure you get in there, book your tickets early because they do they do go and come down and say hi because we love to meet and people. And you'll be there at five, it's five I'm, dock. I'm going to be there at the five dock one. It's Sunday show and you'll be having some of your little witchy poo things. Yeah, I'll be down there and we can, we get to meet you and put faces to names and we love that. We and love I'll have my new book with me. So I'm happy to sign that and I'm happy to meet everyone. But anyway, until next fortnight, light and light and love, light and love. Call in the light, call in the light. Yes. And <laughs> thanks for joining us. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.